How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to SpongeBob Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated. It's actually been a really long time. I got myself too busy, and I got most of the stuff out of the way, so I thought, you know what? Let's get back to this game. I haven't touched it in a long time. This has like, been my main playthrough, and I've been doing everything else. Oktoberfest, pointless live streams of me animating, or at least trying to animate. <sighs> Let's see. Uh, I think that was pretty much everything I was focused on. Projects and other videos I had. But anyway, it's all out of the way, so let's not worry about that anymore. Maybe I should have loaded up first. Okay, let's see. I think we finished that last time, didn't I? I believe I did. Yep, okay. So this time we were going to, I believe, downtown Bikini Bottom. But do I have enough to go there? Oh, I do actually. I can go to Goo Lagoon if I wanted to, or I could go to. Uh, should I decide on a coin flip? Uh, eeny, meeny, miny, fine. Oops. I'm not too crazy about this, to be honest. Maybe I should have gone to Goo Lagoon, but we already went, so... Downtown Bikini Bottom. Once a bustling metropolis. Now, a debris-covered crater. A hellish landscape. SpongeBob! The robots are destroying downtown Bikini Bottom. We have to evacuate! Alright, but it's gonna take a while to get all this dust. I'm gonna need to get a super vacuum. Maybe those ones you see in the, the commercials. And this is the uh, attempt of comedy, and I'm failing, so vacuum. moving on. Evacuate! We have to get everyone to safety. What's that look? That severe look of superiority. Look. Can we just load them up in the boats? That won't do any good. Why not? <laughs> that look in his face, he's like, well, shit. Because the robots have taken all the steering wheels. Couldn't we just drive in a straight line? That would be asking for disaster. No, there are too many turns. Those fiends, they thought of everything. Plus, there's giant holes Never everywhere. Robots and gates in the way. Back. And what are they facing in the same direction? They'll just collide. Bob, if you're involved, I always fear. But I tell you what, if you can pull this off, I'll give you a golden spatula. Sounds fair. Got a driver's license instead. Nice try. Yeah, I don't think that would work, SpongeBob. But I'm pretty sure that'll be illegal. Let's give it away as a reward. Well, it looks like someone already tried driving without the steering wheels and failed miserably. Like my attempts at being funny. The flying saucer robots. He's about to get the ultimate bitch slap. Gary! I don't know how you managed to do it, but whatever. We're talking about a world with a talking sponge. And not a sea sponge either. I'm just not gonna bother trying to be funny or entertaining. <laughs> well, at least not be funny. Because I'm not good at that. I'm not like good old Marky Moo. I'm not just. I can't be funny on the spot. I got nothing. I'm just that bad at being a YouTuber. Like, but whatever. I'm even considering. Ah, oh, crap. Uh, no longer doing commentary, just doing gameplay, because I am bad at commentary. Like a spring breeze. Uh, yeah, let's go, let's go for that. Why not? An easy spatula right there. Excuse me. Huh, they don't bounce as far as they used to in the old... Okay, they already hit one. Oh, it's more accurate. You actually have to stand close to it to get it to shoot. 
Bro. Whoa! Ow! Why am I bothering? I just do this. I wonder if I could... Oh, nope, it's not necessary. Oh, I can't jump on that. Okay. Oh, that worked. I feel like a new sponge. Boop. And a PS2 resistance. Boom. This feels so different from the original. And is it a good or a bad way? I don't know. Okay, so far it seems to be the bad way. <laughs> I can't get on here as easily as I used to. Okay. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Okay, there we go. A few more, and I think I'll be able to go straight to uh, the first boss. But I don't think I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to go through here yeah, first. Like then I'll do... Uh, Gulagu. And then we'll go with the boss. Let's get everything out of the way. Might as well. Why not? Gotta stretch this out somehow. <laughs> uh, I'm still not funny. Yeah, I'm probably really quiet because, like I said, I am not good at commentary. Not to mention, I've gotten rusty. What? Okay, did I really need to have that thing where it out where it brings me to it so I don't bounce off because I never had a problem with it when I did it in the original game but whatever okay I don't know who's chucking things out the window but whatever I don't know what that's all about never knew excuse me excuse me ugly <laughs> I'm personal I'm just trying to be entertaining well, I think I got an idea for the idea that uh, I almost said Terminator. At least I got the idea for the video title. Unfunny YouTuber tries to be funny. <laughs> uh, anyway, there we go. This door is locked from the inside. Who would do such a thing? Someone who is trying to keep out the robots, perhaps. I mean. I'm pretty sure everyone would do that if they want to keep the robots out. But they don't seem strong enough to be able to break down a door, so that's probably the smartest thing they could do. This is probably going to do the same thing. It's going to suck me right through. Yep. <laughs> it's like a magnet. Why, does, why do they have that? It's not that hard. Hi, Gary. Meow. Yes, thanks for noticing. I have been working out. Not done. Doesn't that mean meow? Oh, that's the entrance to the rooftops, which leads to the lighthouse. What's the? Why are we doing that anyway? Like, why does it matter? Is this, the main goal of this of uh, this level is just to uh -huh. unlock the lighthouse? There's another golden spatula. I could really use that. Meow. What do you mean, get Sandy to help me? I can get through this. Meow. Meow. Oh, that gap looks big. Okay, I'm definitely not making that jump. I remember actually oh, trying. Anyone going to get across there? As we zoom in on the obvious flying Texas uh -oh. object. More robots. Only Dutchman's ghost! That gap looks impossible! And impassable! Okay, okay, I'll go get Sandy to help me out. Why is she the first one that comes to mind anyway? I think I just had the idea. I think I'll go with the. If my commentary is too bad, I'll just upload the video without it. Cause, like I said, I am not funny whatsoever. Let's just go to the sea needle, and we'll do this. This uh, mission for Mr. Krabs, and get another golden spatula, and then we go to Sandy and make our way across. Simple as that. And I need to work on being more entertaining. You don't see the sea needle much in the actual SpongeBob episodes. You only see it in that one uh, when Sandy goes to hibernation and they uh, fight with giant ear cleaners at the top. Ah, there you are, boy. 
Someone's broken the Sea Needle. That's horrible. The Sea Needle is the cradle of Crochet Corner. Yes, yes it is. But what's more important is that there are tiki's and shiny objects just outside the windows. Mr. Krabs, how can you think of money at a time like this? Easy. I just clear my mind. Money, money, money. Now listen here, boy. Yeah, you that's that uh. It's kind of how my mind works, except I need it more than he does, even though he's pretty much if rich. Break all the tiki's here at the sea needle. I'll give you a bonus. Gold money, gold money, spatula. money. If only I had more money. Things be a lot Why easier. Why do I want to break the tiki's, Mr. Krabs? Uh, because they were laughing at you and calling you funny names. What kind of funny names? Um, you know, SpongeBob butt pants. Ass pants will probably be That's funny. That's not very funny. I know, I'm uh, terrible. No, but they said your mom was ugly. Ugly? All right, Mr. Krabs, break to my cell. You got a deal. Really push the buttons on that one, Mr. Krabs. All right, let's go for a dive, boys. Hey, make sure you get a good wow. look. Wow! Everyone looks like antfish from up here. The ultimate wedgie experience! At least the audio is more clear. Okay, why does it... Why did it take me up instead of down? Diving is, like, a very pointless button. I guess it'll make you go farther when you go down. Because it's kind of pointless in this. The other one actually has a purpose, and. Oh, I guess like, okay, I guess it, went, it brought me down like an inch, but that's about it. Oh, I guess that acts as like a. a little office. I guess it's fine. It shines! These guys have got a lot more deadly in this one. Uh, whoa! I guess you try to get one last hit before you die. Oh, well, uh, okay. I guess they knew of your ability to be able to. Just, oh wow. They must have thought of everything when they remade this. They knew you can just one shot them off the edge, and there you go. But they put that little spot there. They thought of everything. Now you actually have to fight them head on. As long as these pants are square, and this, and this sponge is Bob, I will not let the king bomb down. Now, oh, excuse me. Okay, I didn't get him that time, but whatever. Alright, let's not... Shut up. Okay, that went well. Okay, window number two. Let's go. I didn't even need to press the dive button. It just took me all the way down, so let's... Okay, I guess I gotta figure it out. I guess you don't do damage unless you press it, so I don't think I'll break them. So do... Yep, looks like that's what's going on. I guess that. Oh no, the original game still has it to be a lot easier. And I didn't know he had. They had an explosive one. I couldn't tell. I am so sorry if I'm boring you to death. I. No, I don't know what to say in commentary. Oh, and here's the hard part: getting them to go all the way down. Come on! Uh, I could just grease the tip of my special sea needle. Uh, but I never know what to say for these things, so I am so sorry if I'm boring you to death. Maybe I should go on making videos without commentary. Or at least try to make commentary, and if it's complete garbage, I'll just <laughs> upload it normally. Like I said, so I think that might be a better idea. Because, man, just he hearing myself, I know no, like, I would not, w I wouldn't watch it. I'm better off muting the video and watching the silence. Why can't I go all the way down? Come on! There we go. Okay. Excuse me. Let's see, did I miss the... Oh, no, of course not. What am I thinking? I'm a freaking idiot. I am the world's worst YouTuber ever. I am not afraid of heights. That's a pretty good reason to be afraid of heights. 
Everyone's afraid of heights. It's pretty much like an instinct. It's, you don't want to fall. Oh, I guess tapping the button works. I don't know. Okay, so that's a little bit of a flaw with this. It's, you can just press A, and but as long as you touch the tiki's, it'll still count as damage. So that's interesting. Let's see if I can tap you. At least I'll take it. Well, I got that figured out at least. And there we go. That's about. I think that's about it. Here's the golden spatula, like I promised. So, can you at least explain why I had to do that? I know because there were shiny objects out there, and, I, and you want me to collect it and give it to you, yada yada yada. Well, I guess I can change the sandy while I'm here. Why not? Ahoy there, sir. Tap for the mortar. I'm the only Texan around here. <laughs> <laughs> Terrify Mr. Krabs will feel sandy just because I don't know where to be the crap out of this one guy. Okay, that's fun as that is. Uh, that's probably the funniest thing I've ever done in this episode. Alright, let's just try to get to the rooftops. It shouldn't take too long at all. Sooner I get through this, the sooner you guys are spared from being bored to death. And I feel so bad right now. And embarrassed. I'm just not good at this. And I don't know what to say. I, 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 I don't have wit. I, I don't have. I don't have any comedy material. I just don't know what to say. So I'm just sitting here most of the time. You know what, I think this will be the last video I do with commentary. Oh, it actually moves. Did it actually tilt? Uh, I like you can actually last so near. Yeah, I think the only time I'll include commentary is when I'm doing indie games or something like that. Otherwise, I am not interesting to listen to. My gameplay is far better than my commentary. Sad decision, but it must be done. That's probably one of the reasons why no one watches me, because I am literally the worst. I wouldn't be surprised if no one watches us all the way up to this point. At least the lasso has been improved. It's a lot faster. It's, for some reason, you have to actually hold the button to to do the swing. Okay, and kaboom! I don't know why I need to bother with that, but I'm gonna do it anyway. They could have made the. There we go. They could have made that a little bigger. That would have been nice. And there we go. Another spatula for the collection. I think I could probably get to the lighthouse fairly quick. And I think that's enough for this episode. I did terrible. I am boring, and I am sorry. This whole, all this commentary was me just feeling bad. I think that'll be it. But let's just talk to Larry. Sandy, boy, am I glad to see you. I need your help. My TV reception has been terrible lately. I need to have someone replace my old antenna with this shiny new one. Yes, sir. That fair antenna is shinier than a three-dollar bill. It well, looks like shit, though. Why don't you replace it yourself? I'm not really much of a jumper. So, what's jumping got to do with it? Because the old antenna is up there. The other one was bamboo. Woo! That's taller than a glass of Texas iced tea. The robots have blocked off that building, and I can't do all those fancy moves you and SpongeBob do to get across these gaps. 
All I can do is flex! Wanna see? Yeah, great. Uh, so what are you gonna do with the old antenna? Oh, that? It's yours if you replace it with a new one. Yeah, give me a crappy antenna. I have been getting bad TV reception in the tree dome. Okay, Larry, you got a deal. Alright, but anyway, that's enough. I think I'll spare you guys another waste pointless minute with me. So again, I am so sorry for not having anything to say and feeling mostly sorry for myself the whole time. Uh, I think I'll just think about it. Maybe I'll not do commentary in the next one. I don't know. I'll see how that goes. But anyway, I hope you at least enjoyed watching the gameplay, and I'll see you all in the next one.